If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my goodness, you all are gonna think that I have gone off the deep end, but I tell you, I have not. I cannot wait to show you what I make with frozen taquitos. I know, frozen taquitos, of all things, when Linda first told me about this recipe, I thought she had lost her marbles until I tried it. This is not my recipe. This is one that Linda got from somebody who got it from somebody who got it from somebody. But when she made it for her family, I thought, are you kidding me? You've gotta be nuts. There is no way that that's gonna taste good. And it did. I made it. She told me, you gotta try this. I made it, I loved it, and now I'm bringing it to you. This literally is a dump and bake dinner that is going to be a crowd pleaser and you are going to be amazed at how amazing this tastes. I can't wait to show you what you can make with taquitos that everybody's gonna love and they're gonna be floored that you used frozen taquitos to make it. Ah, I can't wait, I know you guys are all just thinking I've lost my mind now, but I haven't, I swear. Wait until you see this, I can't wait to show you. So let's get to baking and cooking in the kitchen now and let me show you this quick and easy dump and go taquito dinner. It really isn't taquitos though when we're done. Okay, I'm gonna stop, let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on this next new chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to my blog in the description box below where I will be posting a new blog every Friday morning at 8 a.m. This is where I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. Did I tell you? Yes, we are using frozen taquitos, beef, chicken, your choice. I picked up this foil pan from Dollar Tree. It's perfect for this. Using some cooking spray, I'm gonna give this pan a nice good coating of that because we don't want our food to stick to it. I am going to line this pan with taquitos, frozen taquitos, right? I know, just give it a chance. I promise you it's gonna be worth it. Now the size box that I got, you can either do two layers of taquitos if you want or you can do two separate pans. Because there's only three of us, I'm just gonna do one layer in this nine by 11 pan. Look at that, fits perfect. And there's some for leftovers. Yay, love leftovers. You are going to need a larger can of enchilada sauce. Again, your choice. Pick red, pick green. We're a green enchilada sauce family. I think we're just a green sauce family all together. And guess where the sauce is going? Mm hmm we're gonna coat the taquitos with this sauce. Now again, you can do two layers if you want, but this nine by 11 pan isn't I'd say thick enough for two layers. So I'm just gonna stick with the one. One large can, you can see, does the trick. I'm so totally going to top this with some cheese. I'm choosing Colby Jack, you choose yours. Fiesta blend, taco blend, whatever cheese it is that you like. This bag of cheese is the perfect amount. I think I actually used the whole bag on the top of this because I'm kind of a cheesy person. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I haven't even had caffeine this morning either. Okay, I had one cup, but still. It just comes natural to me being cheesy. <laughs> so put as much cheese or as little as you want. I like a lot. Now, because I don't want that cheese to burn, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some foil and that's gonna stop the cheese from burning. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. After about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my pan so I can remove the foil because there is nothing better than browning up that cheese, getting some of those crispy bits of cheese on top. Who doesn't love that? So I'm gonna place it back in the oven until it's golden brown or crispy the way I like it. That was about 10 minutes later. 
And let's take a look at this. Yes, we have got some golden color on that cheese. If you want it darker, you're gonna leave it just a bit longer. I'm happy with how this looks. Oh my word. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Yes, it does. I know it does. I know, right? Doesn't it look amazing? You'd never know that this was frozen taquitos, right? I am promising you, it tastes amazing too. Oh my word. Yes, it looks amazing. And so with this, I am going to top it off with, yes, a dollop of sour cream. And I put pepper on everything. So I'm gonna give it some pepper. Mm -hmm, that's probably really not enough, but that's okay for now. Now let's dig into this. Oh my word. When I tell you that this is amazing, it is amazing. It does not taste like frozen taquitos. I am telling you, such a quick and easy meal. And again, you can do this using green sauce or red sauce. We are a green sauce family. You can do it using beef or chicken taquitos. You choose. It's amazing. Guaranteed you'll love it. You gotta try it. Pre-COVID, I had been doing a series called In the Kitchen with Kathleen, and that was where my stepmom, Kathleen, was teaching me everything that there was to know about being in the kitchen. This here is one of our family favorites, this chicken enchilada casserole, and it is, in fact, a real chicken enchilada casserole. It's not done with frozen taquitos. You can find the link to this recipe video in the description box below if you're interested in seeing some of our family favorite recipes and Kathleen and I in the kitchen together. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Chris Jamie Davis, who is bringing to us a few of her recreations, starting with this fall and harvest sign. Love it. How about these half pumpkins that say fall using the Dollar Tree poster board letters? These bleak to chic pumpkins using those ugly neon pumpkins that Dollar Tree has right now. And this DIY blue truck, red truck, flower pot. I am loving it. Thank you so much for sharing all of your recreations with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you want to DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Right? Who would have thought making enchiladas this way? They are the best enchiladas ever. They are so good. And it's something that if you're going to a potluck or if you just need to throw something together really quick, you can do this. It's gonna take you 10 minutes max and everybody's gonna love it because it tastes so good and you're just not gonna tell anybody that you used frozen taquitos. And if you do, everybody's gonna wanna know what you did. And when you tell them how easy it was, oh my word. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget or everything on a budget videos to come. That was Winnie, she wants in here. Okay, everybody, this is Winnie. Oh goodness, watch what I am about to do. Come here. And this, oh my goodness, this lug. This is a Biza. Look at him. No, we're not playing right now. And this here is a Biza. And he's just the cutest thing ever. He's just a big bear. This is my son's Labradoodle. Yeah, he is huge. He's about 15 more pounds bigger than Winnie. And so it is Friday. And so he comes over. Oh, these two are gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yes, today is play day for them. Oh. Okay, they're gonna go out of the room now. Winnie, come here. Say hi to everybody real quick. Hey, say hi everybody. Everybody says they wanna see you. Get up here. Say hi everybody. <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, go play. Go play. Okay. Just make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, please, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. 
because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, and bye for now.